This is the drive home with TT for the Millwall drive home, driving home from the den where it finished. Millwall 1, Preston North End 3. It was indeed a game of two halves and the first half was absolutely atrocious. Terrible. You know, there's no... Our players just did not look interested and that very, very, very rarely does that happen in a Millwall team, but... Awful. There's no other word, no other way of putting it. Um, we'll start with the starting lineup. We had Archer in goal, and now uh, with the ratings, it can't, it can't come out with any glory. Archer four. Romeo was beaten a few times at the back. I thought he came into the game a bit better in the second half, so I'll give him a five. I think Cooper and Hutchinson got done for pace a few times, and you can't get beat in between the, the two of you. Both of them get a four. Murray Wallace started at left back. And, you know, he, he's played well in, in, in recent weeks. He's, he's been dominant at the back. But up against the pace that he had up against him today, he, he really struggled. And, you know, he was quite rightly subbed at half-time. I'd give Murray Wallace a three. Jed Wallace started as right midfield. Again, Jed try, tried. Put himself about... He went, moved into the middle in the second half, but not good enough. So Jed Wallace, a five. In the centre of the park, and this is where I think we was probably our worst part of the game, Williams and, and Leonard just, just got absolutely dominated and didn't get forward, didn't really get back either. They, they seem to be caught in no man's land far too often. No energy, no desire. No, no, nothing really. Looked better second half, but just not, just not enough. Both of them, both of them get four. On uh, left midfield, we had Ben Marshall, and I thought again, Ben Marshall did virtually nothing in the game. Tried, you know, he stepped it up in the second half. He started closing the ball down more. He started trying to get the team back, and for that reason, I'll give him a five. And up front, we had Lee Gregory and Tom Elliott. I'll start with Tom Elliott because it won't take me long. Absolutely useless. I, I don't... I, I remember him making one or two passes to his own teammate. You know, his performance summed up by a flick on... A flick on by... Um, to absolutely nobody. You know, it was... I, I just don't... I, I don't personally see on performances like that when he's not doing anything. He just brings absolutely nothing to the game. He's not worth being on the pitch. I'll give Elliot a three. And up front with him was Lee Gregory. Again, Lee Gregory puts himself about, he, he's chasing down the ball, he didn't really have any chances, just a flat performance from even Lee and it's difficult to try and give any kind of positive outlook on any of the team that started, so Lee Gregory I'll give a six, maybe maybe the, probably the better, better one in both the first and second half. And then we'll move to the subs. Obviously, Shane Ferguson came on. I have no idea how Shane's been dropped. But Fergie's come on. Looks good on the ball. He's, he's got time. He slows. He, he's, he quickens the pace up in terms of his passing. I thought he'd done all right when he came on. So I'll give him a six. I thought Morrison done what Morrison done. He got himself in and about the, their defence. He, he played more right wing. And to be fair to him, that's not his position. But he's not done. He's not done too bad. The the one pit of quality from us in in the game was our goal, and that was Ferguson Ferguson knocking it back to Marshall, who put it to the back post where Morrison's headed it back to to Ben Thompson. So I'll give Morrison a five, and Ben Thompson was a was a breath of fresh air. There's no other way of putting it, and he's pushing for a start. To be fair, I felt that we could have had both Tiny Cliff. And Thompson starting. I, I, I think they're doing enough to, to push. I don't know what they're doing in training, obviously. But we, Thompson, again, time and time in that second half, maybe because we're chasing the game and he doesn't need to get back, but was getting into the box. And our crosses into the box looked so much more dangerous when you've got players running onto, running onto those crosses. We just didn't do that enough. In the, like I said, in the first half, it was... It was really, really painful to watch. And Preston, don't get me wrong, they played, they played really well. They, they, they made the most of it and they looked really 
actually, there were, if I was a Preston fan, it looked exciting to watch in that first half. They played the ball around with intensity, they played it quickly, and we just, because we weren't at the races, we just were all over the place. You know, the three goals we've conceded are defensive errors. They Don't get me wrong, again, they're, they're, they're good football, but if we're at it, if, if we're doing what we should be doing, you, you, you can't concede goals like that. The third one, especially where it's just played right between Cooper and Hutchinson, and you just don't understand how they've, you know, they've not, one of them has got to at least lever him off or try and get in his way a bit, but they just let him run right through the middle of him and Archer's plumb stuck on his line. And, you know, it's 3-0. I, I did think that if we got a goal before half-time, and even in that second half, Preston looked vulnerable at the back. And, and, I'm, and I'm sure that they'll have, if they've, they'll concede goals this season because they are so attacking. And in that, like I said, in that, um, in that second half, it, it shows a lot that they were time-wasting really, really, you know, obviously. Again, they're not going to get sped up by the ref. He only gives five minutes of injury time, even though their Frodo looking number four was down for, for, an, for, for a long period of time. Only, like I said, only five minutes of injury time. But they looked vulnerable. Preston looked vulnerable, but we just did not do enough first half and for most of the second half to, to, to challenge them. And that's very disappointing, you know, to come off the back of a hard-working performance against Wimbledon, a hard-working performance against Derby, to go up there and get three points. If we built, built on that, and today we've come out, I know it's difficult because they've, they've been playing games in midweek as well, and we've not got a, a very big squad. And I'm sure Neil Harris is going to say that, but we can't have performances like we, we had today. There's just no, no, way, of, no way of doing it. It's, you know, I'm, I'm absolutely distraught. I'm, I'm gutted to, to think that, that, you know, that first half was one of the worst halves of football I've ever seen a Millwall team produce just because of, the, like I said, the lack of intensity, the lack of heart. That's, that should be the bare minimum for a Millwall team under Neil Harris and, and we didn't get that. Tactically, we're, obviously, we got it wrong but the heart you would expect. My man in the match today, well, it's going to be Ben Thompson. I think he had a cameo performance in that second half. He got the crowd behind him. He, he, he runs with the ball at his feet which we need in the centre of the park with, with a bit of desire. And, and I hope that he, he pushes his way into the starting lineup. And um, we'll move on to ref watch. Steve Martin didn't give us anything in that game. And like I said, the second half, it just allowed them to blatantly time waste. And it was, it just, you can see why they did it because they, they wanted to, they played, they, they did it well. You know, if, if, if you're looking at it from a side's point of view, they killed the game really well. And it's up to the ref, which he does with us on a number of occasions, if we try and do that, to get them going. And he really didn't. You know, like I said, the number four, I think, was the only one that really kind of made an error in trying to... He was too much. You know, at one stage, he looked like he was dead. You know, not moving on the floor. And you just think, that's... He's just, he's just overdoing it. The rest of the team was slowing it down properly and you can't really argue about it. I don't think we got any really bad decisions it was just a, you know there's no, the refs can't take any any blame for that defeat whatsoever but it would have been ni nice if he'd have sped the game up a little bit second half which he's there to do you know he's there to manage the game and he, and he didn't manage it second half we've obviously got tough games ahead of us you know Norwich at home next Saturday given what we've done against Preston and how attacking Norwich are it's, gonna, it's going to be another difficult game but you know, I, we've always got a chance if we start properly. Far too often this heart, far too often this season, in the first half, we've not done enough. In the first, we've not done enough, and we've got to, I don't know, just come out the blocks. I know it's difficult to do for ninety minutes, but we've just got to come out the blocks. Just go at them. I know it's it's, it's going to be difficult because we've only got one striker that can play ninety minutes. Elliot is not, I'll say it time and time again, and it's not just because of his performance. And what he does, he does effectively normally just flicking on the ball, but he's not enough to play as a championship striker. He's a League One striker and that's his level. He does well at that level, but he's not good enough for, for the championship. And look, I, think, I don't think Lee Gregory scored since the away game at Preston. So we're just not getting goals from our, from our strikers. We're not getting goals from, from most of the team other than the defenders that have been scoring. And... 
That's worrying because other teams around us now are picking up points. It's very much a relegation season and it's going to be difficult if we play anywhere near like we play today. Second half was slightly better, but the first half was, was a disgrace, an absolute disgrace. And the people that call for, for Neil Harris's job and the people that dig him out, they, they, he got, they got plenty of ammunition today to say it. And it, it's hard to, to argue against it. Um, I, hate, I almost swore there. I don't know if you can hear him. Because, like, you know, when it's, everyone's going to annoy you. I'm going out tonight for a few drinks to, to watch the boxing and I, I, I really can't be bothered. Do you know that? I really can't be bothered. Hopefully my Lions, my under eight Lions, we've got a game tomorrow. Hopefully they can lift me. You know, it's good. That's, that's the joys of coaching kids football because, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll see my boys passing the ball around even though it's a really small pitch where we're playing away at Tiptree tomorrow. Um, so good luck to my, my under eight Lions. It's a tough one today, as you can see. When I'm up, I'm up. When I'm down, I'm down. And today, I am properly down. Preston, well played. I thought you were one of the better sides to come to the den. Mirwall, that's not good enough. We go again next week. Come on, you Lions.